we've received a bunch of questions on the original video. Watch to the end and I'll give you some awesome tips and some warnings before you visit this location. Today we're in Antarctica on an iceberg in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of psych the desert. We're in Utah <laughs> in the salt flats. Look at this place. It's crazy. Never been out here to the salt flats. It just goes forever. Dodge awesome. truck can go anywhere. Go again. Open up. Action, baby. After a yes. two hour drive to the middle of nowhere, the salt flats, and then another 30 minute drive to off roading. Blue canal. <laughs> it is like an alien planet. We've seen pictures online and some videos. Not very many people have made it here, but they call it the Blue Canal or the Salt Lake River. And it's crazy aqua blue sometimes, sometimes <laughs> less. But you can float pretty good. Like it's salt water. And it's cool, so of course we had to try it out. Yeah, and they actually ask that you don't pee in the water because it makes it less salty. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I want to show you the edge, here. the edge of this. It is crazy. This is 100% salt. It feels like you're on ice, you know, but it's it's salt. It's crazy. Not only is it pure salt, but there's probably some toxic stuff in here. Don't eat it. Ah! Oh, so strong. <laughs> Oh, I barely even touched it. It's like <laughs> inflammation city. Ugh. All you kids watching at home, do not lick the salt. <laughs> oh, it's oh, <that's> so strong. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, we're under paddle boards uh, in the water. I just dipped my knee in the water a little bit and it is really, really salty. I got some, a uh, little bit of scab going on here from softball and I was like instantly, it wasn't a thing about it and I was just like, oh gosh, it's Things. You just got assaulted. <laughs> Dad joke. <laughs> got assaulted. Oh, that's hilarious. Let's paddle this thing. It's like you're paddling through ice. Okay, because I love you guys, I wanted to give you a close up. If you look along the edge here, you would think it looks like ice or snow or something, but it's like hard crusty salt, like it's really, really hard. I think in a few minutes, after we paddle this thing, Wally and I are gonna go for a little swim. <laughs> they say you can float really easily in salt water, so we're gonna find out. So it is mid-October here in Salt Lake at what they call the Blue Canal, and we're just gonna take a little cruise up here I can't think of anywhere in the world where you can just float down a river of pure salt. Like there's not dirt or sand or thing, anything mixed. This is pure salt. So there's no current here. So this is about as exciting as you can get. Live action, baby. This is a pretty unique place. I mean, all salt, the color of the water, it's out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, so far from civilization. So we're bringing it to you because realistically, nobody will get out here. It's kind of cool. It's super unique. It's very quiet. It's true. If you're looking I'd for say, a romantic place. I'd say not much adventure. Don't bring your buddy, but <laughs> 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 maybe your wife or something. Cause it's really quiet and romantical out here. <laughs> Just to make it less romantic. Ow. Or you can go like this. Uh. <laughs> it's October. It's a decent day outside, but it's still hey, cold. They don't let sweaters here. Should have manscaped. You know what I'm saying? Not all of us are built like 12 year old boys. <laughs> oh, burn! There's Wally. The brave man, he drew the short straw, which means he gets to go first. Oh, wow. yeah! Look, That's his head's like completely out. So cool! <laughs> no floating device. <laughs> no flotation. Oh it's like I'm in a little uh, recliner. It just. This is so crazy. It's defying all physics and gravity right here. Okay, that sounds fun. I'm going in. <laughs> and oh, it's chilly. Chilly, chilly, chilly. Here it goes. Oh my gosh. This is so nice cold. I can't float like this in normal water. Nobody can, probably, except for people with flotation devices built in. I do have this right here. It's a little bit more than Wally. How's the office today? We're just floating We're just on chilling. top of the water. Feeling. This is the coolest thing. It's not that it's like this cool color of salt. It's that you just float. No flotation device, no trickery here. Salt acidity. Yeah, pH balance. And it is stinging like crazy on that sucker right there. 
<laughs> I think it's good for your owies. This is a pretty crazy feeling. I've, I've lived in this area for about 20 years now and I've never come out. You gotta do it, you know what I'm saying? You can't just go out to the, uh, Salt Lake. You don't have to drive clear out here to the Blue Canal, but this is amazing. <laughs> this is the good life, baby. Who needs Hawaii? <laughs> You got salt river in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, he needs warm, sunny weather, relaxing, <laughs> warm water. You can yeah. have ice cold water in the middle of nowhere in the salt flats. <laughs> if we never make another video again, oh. you will know. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like a drop of that in my mouth, and he's that like is this. so. Oh. Well, he's like this. Salty. It's so, <laughs> so strong. Like the ocean is is you know pretty salty that is oh my gosh if we never make another video again you'll know that how bad so i did this <laughs> crazy your skin's like slimy like smooth smooth as a baby's butt <laughs> that is oh! little taste i guess that'll hold them over till we get to hawaii hey look at this look how i'm turning white so don't worry about me i'll be all white <laughs> <laughs> the blue river is pretty amazing you know but it's not what you call like a super exciting adventure. And Wally, once again, is proving that. Guys, we need to find something more exciting for Wally. Please comment below. Let's find something that'll keep Wally's engine revving. Oh, this is so cold. <laughs> this is so cold. Oh my gosh. It does feel like we're in Antarctica. <laughs> I got no flotation device. I'm just out in the middle. Look how salty we are. We have been fully assaulted <laughs> this is wally this is tita reminding you to, to full send everything, everything. Ah! so as promised here's our best tips and warnings should you decide to visit the blue canal first and foremost it's not always blue <laughs> sometimes it's a cloudy white and other times it's the cleanest most beautiful blue that you can imagine like you see in these pictures here. No, the photos that you're looking at have not been enhanced or doctored in any way. You should also be warned that the Blue Canal is sometimes pretty low on water. That could be a huge bummer because it's a long, boring 90 minute drive from Salt Lake City. So you need to decide if it's worth taking that chance. Now, as you're heading out there, you should see the Blue Canal from the freeway, but you cannot park there or on the shoulder or anywhere off the highway. There's a very good chance that you will get a ticket. Instead, keep driving till you reach the next pull off. It was a mile or two further down the road. Sorry, we didn't track it, but you'll be driving for a little while. Once you're off the freeway, you'll drive back across the salt flats towards the Blue Canal. This may or may not be trespassing. We didn't see any signs. Also when we were there, we saw several patches of mud and it looked like a couple people might have gotten stuck. So do not park too close to the canal and do not take any chances. There will be no one around to pull you out and you could be stuck there for a long, long time. You should also know that the state, among many others, strongly discourage visiting this location. I'm not sure why I told you that. It would probably just make you wanna go there even more. If you do decide to get in, do not get the water in your eyes or your mouth. It could kill you, <laughs> just kidding. But still, you're gonna wanna be cautious. You'll also wanna bring a few gallons of fresh water to rinse off. The ride home was seriously uncomfortable because as the water evaporated, the salt became little salt crystals all over our bodies. That was a very unpleasant surprise and I'm glad we didn't come across any deer because they probably would have licked us to death. Speaking of salt, salt mining is still actively taking place in this location. So. If you swim here, you may actually get a taste of yourself the next time you put salt on your food. And I don't think there's an FDA warning for that. Anyway, we did receive one hilarious comment asking if we'd had any health issues from getting in the water. To answer that question, no, we did not. Though we totally got assaulted. Get it? Assaulted? Sorry, dad joke. Anyway, worst case scenario, if the Blue Canal is totally dry, you can still get some awesome pictures at the famous Bonneville Salt Flats. 